Hey everybody, it's Jimo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the rope level one zero two hero. This video is gonna be more or less educational, where I'm gonna explain what exactly I'm gonna do and um, what am I planning to do. So anyway, pretty much we're gonna start with absolutely nothing with a single perk, which is jokester. We're gonna go with the rupture and the cutthroat. And as for the rest, we're not gonna have absolutely nothing. We're not gonna even use the torch. We straight up gonna be naked as is pretty much this is what we're gonna do we're gonna hop in the game we're gonna try to get somewhere we're gonna try to find weapon and hopefully hopefully we'll be able to find it soon enough um in order to actually clear up mobs and move on with the challenge we're gonna play up until the point where we get a full kit even if it's gonna take multiple games well that's gonna be it and that's gonna be the plan for today's video i'm gonna try to explain everything i'm gonna do and hopefully, hopefully, I wouldn't get fucked as much as I got fucked in the comment section in the um, Zero to Hero on the bar with an axe, you know what I mean? <laughs> so pretty much the fastest way would be to complete this challenge is by first finding a weapon. Doesn't matter what weapon, we gotta just gotta have something to play with. And once we're done with this, two, we gotta find someone to kill. Someone who's gonna be more or less geared with um, stuff that would be... Uh, you know, pretty decent for a rogue. And as for us, that's basically the plan for the video. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to explain each and every step I make. Anyway, let's go in directly into the video and let's try to get as far as we can get. Alright, we're finally in. Alright. We got spawned by the ways. Let's break it up, maybe we find something. Alright. That's okay, we got this. Alright. We got a chest. All right, everybody. <laughs> oh shit! Holy fuck! The challenge is over. No, 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 no! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Well, first thing first. Well, we gotta deal with this fucking evil mob that is after pain ass. Don't get shot. Hit a couple of times with a short sword. That's the plan. Let's still continue to loot. Let's try to find as much as we could physically get. Anything we find is gonna go along the way because we will be able to sell that and buy the stuff that would be needed. But as for the challenge, I'm going to try and find and um, I'm gonna try to find stuff that is gonna be fun and great, pretty much. Even though I'm gonna try and make money, I'm still gonna try and prioritize making, you know, the full set from the dungeon rather than. Um, you know, just buying. But um, I do believe that um, once we're done with collecting this set, we're probably gonna be past the thousand gold, so we should be just about enough, more or less. So, yeah. Okay, well. First thing first, you gotta find chests, loot them up, try find some upgrades. We're kinda low HP, so ideally we better go and try find a shrine, which can be very convenient for us, because I do believe there is one. Since we don't have any meds, any shrine gonna do, gonna get the job done. Looks like we have a player to our left, which fucking suck. Alright, he crouched, seems like he's friendly. If anything, I'll kill him later after I use the shrine, because I do need to get my health back. Each and every mob could actually one-tap me because I do believe my armor is at negative straight up right now. So we do need to be a little bit careful here. Alright, let's use the shrine. We also got a bulge of chests here. I'm not really sure if I want to go down below and fight the scent of it, but that probably would be the fastest way to get some cheese, like um, centipede drops, rings, and necklaces. But as for now, let's just go and try to explore the map. The more we find in this raid, better it's gonna be, because pretty much... You know, each and every step gonna go a long way, you know what I mean? Let's try and clear up as many mobs, because once again, remember, I'm still level 1. I don't have access to anything. And ideally, ideally, I'd get to level up with... Um, while trying to get the task accomplished, you know what I mean? Nice, we got some purple syllables by the way already, and so it was gonna go really hard on market. I somehow didn't get hit by this goblin, which is really nice. By the way, speaking of, the lantern 
is going to be really useful for the task because you need to find a lot of those. I believe you need like six um, Molotovs and probably around like 20 lanterns later down for the task line. Unless they've changed it. Fuck, bro. Okay, sorry, my bad. Pretty much you also could use goblins to break stuff. And, um... But that was not worth it. At least I tried to, you know, and I had to show what uh, you could do with the power of mobs. <laughs> See if the guy has anything. Right, we have a lot more chests. And basically, we're gonna open them up one by one. That's the plan. Ideally, ideally, we find a crossbow. With a crossbow, we could start trying to cheese someone out. Pretty much, that would be our first step. We already got a, quite a bunch of items, but we didn't really got that many upgrades. The only thing we found so far is a pair of boots. But we're already kind of getting filled up. I do believe it will gonna end up with at least 300 gold. Probably more, probably more, and a whole bunch of upgrades. Strong knives is really good, especially when it comes to fighting. Like, as the rogue, this is gonna be your main source of damage, and um, especially when you're gonna try and kite other players. Since right now, Rogue is actually pretty fast. Oh fuck, we got a Reaper, hell yeah. Since right now, Rogue is actually pretty fast class, um, the Slayer Fighters wouldn't really be able to catch up to you that easily, because, well, you're just a fast freaking class. And uh, two, with enough of a throwing daggers, you could actually ha might have a pretty decent life, you know what I mean. But just thing is, don't overcommit until you're certain that you will be able to kill players in a couple of hits. Because rogues doesn't really have much house, and you do need to be careful. We're gonna kill wizard by just walking to the sides. Let it through the bulb, and you just walk either left or right, it doesn't matter. Here we have another shrine that's actually part of the reason why I ended up coming here, to be able to heal up. And we have a few mobs down the line. Also, keep in mind, in the river you're gonna find portals right below us. And pretty much, um, that's gonna be extremely convenient, especially if you end up clearing out this whole area. Later down the line, you'll be able to simply come here and use it as your way to extract. By the way, the invis pot is gonna be needed for a task. And here to the right, we're gonna have a Santa pit. And pretty much this will again go right after... If we will be able to find some cheese, that would be really nice. I want to take those pens. Because, damn. That's pretty good stats. Extra dexterity. But we don't have um, poison weapons, so we don't really care too much. I want to take that piece just as well, because it offers really good stats. Wigger is definitely something you're looking for. What the hell, bro? I can't jump over this. So, yeah, we have a centipede here. With the default kit, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. Don't step in a puddle, it's gonna hurt you a lot, so ideally you stay away from it. That's just gonna be the plan. Yeah, it's gonna take quite a bit. With the poison weapon, it would take a lot less time. We got hit, but we have a potion, so we don't necessarily care too much. All right. Okay, here we go. Another bottle. First ring upgrade. That's actually good. That's actually good, Brendan. Okay, here we go. We have a short sword. Mm, I want to stack up the gold, so... I want to have an extra. We don't have much time, so we'll just jump over. Even if we're going to get a little hurt in the process, that's fine. I don't think the shrine is up, but there is another shrine to my right. I don't really care too much about my health, because it's really not that big of a deal. I'm not planning to fight anyone anytime soon, but if I come across someone... Yeah, sure, I'd fight it. I'm already geared enough to actually give someone a challenge. So, if someone decides to fuck with me, hell yeah, bro, I'm all up to it. Ideally, I'd get to break the boxes, but um, I don't want to get hurt more than I'm already am, because I don't have more health. Alright, let's kill this guy as well. 
It's kind of tanky. By the way, we have a player opening up the door. Speaking of a player. Okay, that's Druid, by the way. And he ain't a friendly guy. Okay. That's something that I absolutely love about Druids. That they just come invincible. Okay, he turned the pants in. Not sure what his plan is, but let's see. Maybe he decides to become a ride again and I'll burn the f him the fuck down. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're just trying to be polite. GG brother, you died. <laughs> no, for real, the moment you turn your rat, you died. They just... How is it gonna be? Like, what can you do? You can't even tank one dot, you'd instantly die. And the direct hit is gonna also do a little bit of damage, so... You do need to be careful when you turn the rat. Because otherwise you're just gonna give people your free loot. <laughs> no, for real, Druid is a free loot, especially if you decide to turn the rat. So, yeah, just... Uh, Keep in mind, bring a bottle that's gonna counter the absolute living F out of Druids. And it's so easy to land a bottle because the area of a bottle is ridiculous. By the way, we're actually already starting to get cheese. We're kind of getting our kid together. We gotta see what this guy has to offer. Ideally, he has some cheese for us. Okay, we got another ring. That's actually pretty good. We got a necklace. Nice. Unfortunately, the cop isn't of better quality. I have the one I have is better. And as for the rest, I want to take bandage, maybe campfire, so that I get the task going. So pretty much you need blue pot, green pot, oh no, you blue pot, white pot, and the red pot. And pretty much after this one, I will be able to get the task done with the alchemist. So pretty much all you need to do is to bring three bottles and you're good to go. Okay, if you come across bandages, also collect them, you know, they're just a little tip, because you need five of those for a task. All of that gonna come in handy, because it's gonna increase your squire, and basically you will be able to um, get some cheese from the squire. Even though, like, if you're a more advanced player, you probably wouldn't ever need the squire kit, but still, it's actually quite an interesting content to go with absolutely nothing, and move on from there. I personally really enjoy playing like that. Because no matter what you would get, is going to be the big upgrade, especially if starting out with nothing. I do like the Shadow Hood, but I want to keep the Leather Cap, I would also need it for a task. Kind of trying to think ahead and, um, you know, try to keep the task in mind. We still have 4 more minutes, we got a Big Axe. Big Axe, though, is big W for us. That um, campfire didn't have the loot status, so we could just throw it the fuck away. It's not that big of a deal. With the pickaxe, we'll be able to break boxes, which can be very convenient for us. Especially, especially if you're trying to find uh, campfires and other resources for the task. It's gonna be very nice. Because basically, this is where you're gonna find the cheese, you know what I mean? Alright, anyway. We're kind of cooking, you know what I mean? Kind of getting there, one step at a time. Looking pretty good. Alright. Hmm. I kind of want to take that, but I feel like everything that I have in my stash is actually quite valuable. I'm going to throw the fuck that sword, because I don't need it. Not plan to use it anytime soon, nor can I even use it. That would actually kind of nice if rogues would be able to use arming sword, because I feel like that kind of kind of feed the vibe. Maybe give like a specific perk that will allow rogues to use arming sword. I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe it's not. But you can use short sword, which literally is the same size of an arming sword. I feel like. All right. We only got a couple of minutes left, and we got a campfire, which is really sick. I still want to cheese the absolute app. Oh, fuck. Still want to cheese the map a little bit. I want to get as much as I can physically can. I want to get as much XP possible so that I'll be able to level up and use another perk. As for now, I feel like chances are that I get our. Yo, what the hell are those? Literally a replica. I like that. I like that. All right.
Okay. Throwing knives. Those are really going to be helpful, especially when it comes to fighting other players. Mmm. Shit. I gotta figure out what I want to throw to take those knives. Oh, hell yeah. This is our big W upgrade, the hand crossbow. With the hand crossbow, we probably would be able to take on a bigger targets. If you come across like um, Druid, Slayer Fighter, maybe other rogues, we will be able to actually kind of cheese them in a way. Let's use the shrine because shrine also gives you XP. Oh my god, bro. I'm not making any time. Gotta kill the goblin first. The way to kill is actually very simple. Just circle around right or left. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you hit in the head and you will kill them up in a couple of hits. Still have a little bit of time. Let's loot a couple of more boxes and we're gonna be... A oh shit, those were pretty good, by the way. So, yeah. Flute? Nope. That ain't it. Let's see if we could open up the chest. Biss. Actual biss. Let's get the W, brother. Oh, I want those. I still have time, I'm fine. I need. I don't need more than 15 seconds to get to the static, so... I'm good. Alright. Back to the static we go. Okay, if there is anything else I can loot here. Probably not, let's just get out of here. Alright, not a bad first game, I would say. I feel like we made probably a solid 300 gold. Let's actually see how much we made, and we're gonna check out each and every piece. And um, currently we're level 3, which is not bad. Not bad for first game, definitely. Alright, the first game is done. Unfortunately, we're only level 3, but still, that's fine. I wish I would be able to hit somewhere around level 5, but I feel like I almost hit to the level 4, so pretty much in the next game, I would be able to choose another perk. Okay, in order to be able to um, figure out how much gold I'm gonna make in this little session, I'm gonna bring the gold coin back, the one that I had in my thing, you know, in my stairs, shared stash. Yes, it's a messy, yes, it has a bunch of random shit, but um, it's right. So pretty much, um, this is what we're gonna have. Um, first thing first, let's sell everything. And by the way, there are some items that could actually have a very high value, like this slim bangle. You will be able to transfer it for a task, which is going to be very convenient. Goblin ear, also for a task. Potion of invisibility, for a task. Dagger, for a task. Bow for a task. Fucking candle for a task. Ale for a task. Fuck, man. Too many task items. I feel like I'm going to do this some other time. As for now, I'm just going to straight up sell everything. Ha. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You know. All right, Mr. Collector. Okay. Let's sell a couple of items. Yep. That's where the gold goes. Okay. I'll probably sell this later still. <laughs> My bad. I want to keep it for a task, like for real. In the alchemist, we're gonna go to the quest again, and we're gonna pass every single thing. Okay. Convenient. We got some garbage, and basically we're gonna sell this. Alright, so I like short sword for now. This is the weapon that we're gonna still be playing. I'm gonna get the Raper in your hand crossbow if we kind of come across the PvP. We have three, two pairs of the exact same leather gloves. 450 gold could actually afford you getting a bunch of items of better quality. So, yeah, you're gonna, you should be feeling pretty decent playing on the rogue because currently rogue has all the extra health. Previously, previously in the previous patch, um, all the classes had 15 health last than they have right now. Anyway, so pretty much this is what my current kit is, and we're gonna go into our next game. Hopefully we wouldn't die. We have 450 gold, so we could use this gold for actually pots. The prime target for today's video is to acquire a bunch of good gear to actually end up somewhere at the hero. Even though we've kinda did it for our first game, I don't feel like, I personally don't feel like that's enough. I feel like we at least gotta get some purple and blue items and um, somewhere better stats, maybe if I make a little move speed gear set with more or less decent ring, even though we already have a little bit of cheese at this point. But um, it's not enough for me personally, we're gonna aim for more and this is what we're gonna go for. Anyway, let's do this, let's go into the goblin caves and let's go clap some chicks. Mm, Alright, we're in not a bad spot by the way for the first spawn location. There's a number of things we could do. 
one of them we could go and try to kill the boss, especially if I'll be trying to aim for killing the boss. On 11 one rogue, it's actually quite convenient. There's one thing that I noticed that I fucking brain lagged and I didn't bring any hand crossbow balls, which, uh, which is a mistake. It's a big mistake. You need balls. Does the Raper has armor pen? I'm, I'm kind of surprised that the Raper doesn't have armor pen because it's like literally, you know, what it's supposed to do. You know, pen armor. But probably it would be way too balance breaking. There's one little trick though you could do, but you could use the uh, shrines to get a little bit of XP. It's actually going to be quite convenient because you're going to be getting all the cheese basically for free, which is kind of nice. And the target always remains the same. Find upgrade and not die in the process. Pretty much no matter what zero to hero you're gonna do, that's the play. Maybe we come across someone to fight, but in this lobby there was a lot of geared people actually. So, un until I find balls or something useful. I'm not sure if I would really stand a single chance, because I would get stumped, like straight up deleted. Also, in the zero to hero, like, especially if planning to do this, you gotta focus on one very important part, and that is making out of life, you know. You gotta make out of life. Dying isn't an option. So pretty much, even if it's gonna mean that you have to fight less, or not fight at all, well, sometimes that's what you gotta do, you know? You gotta do what it takes to survive. I'm gonna get the bolt back, because <laughs> I do need it. A bunch of stuff, alright. Wait, that door is open. Is this supposed to be open? That's the geared guy, by the way. If I find balls... I found balls, yeah. Okay. Alright, seems like he's about to push me. Gotta be careful here. Gotta kill them up as soon as possible, soon we better. Time to put some pressure. I probably didn't do any damage at all, but still. I believe this guy had like 130, 140 health or something. It was kind of geared. Not overly geared, so we do stand a chance. Alright, he used the pot. Oh, it's kind of the right thing to do. He gotta push me now that he has a blue pot. Let's see what he's up to. Okay. That did hurt a life. I'm just gonna keep back. We have a bunch of throwing dice. Yeah, I ain't liking it. It's backing up. Let's see if it's gonna... Okay. That was a headshot, by the way. So yeah, he's not liking it. We're gonna switch up the hand crossbow. So that we'll be able to shoot him a little. Maybe I'd get to land. I think I did. Okay. Let's heal up while chasing him. I hit him in that too. Yeah, I ain't liking it. I feel like he is still more than half HP though. I probably didn't even do any damage to him to begin with. That's a dead end, I believe. Alright. That's my chance. If you can come across here. Alright. GG. I probably didn't expect that you could actually go jump down from here. Alright, let's see what he has. I believe this is a cheesy guy. He probably had a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, let's see what the guy has. Okay. Alright. A little upgrade. Another upgrade. A little upgrade as well. That's for the task, by the way. That's also for the task. Two strands, three decks. Pretty good, by the way. Pretty good. Gonna throw those. 
Not a bad piece. Nah, I still want to get the campfires for the task, so... It's still gonna go for the, um, you know, towards progression, so it's not a bad idea. This is not a bad piece, it's gonna, it gives stats that's really freaking good. So, yeah. Physical power bonus, 2.2. 2, so this one gives more stats. But 2 strands also gives me a little bit of HP. I gotta keep one at, le at least one bottle. I'm gonna throw a lure, and I'm gonna take this instead. And as for the rest... What do you have? This is... Is it worth it? Because I do still need the hand crossbow. Physical damage bonus. Nah. It's not that deep. Tree dexterity. Armor. This one... Mine's still... Mine's still better. If you come across copper ore on market, it's actually quite expensive. You could actually do it on the rogue. It's um, definitely definitely gonna be a plus. So for real, might as well do it. Not only are you gonna get just straight up free profit out of nowhere. This is also one of the possible ways to make money, but only once you hit level twenty. Because before level twenty, you wouldn't be able to really give it much use. But we'll save it up for a future. Also, like a little reference for anyone who is trying to make money. Mining is a very good. Um, process to make money whether you play solo or duos it's very convenient to have a pickaxe come across the copper and just you know get a little bit of cheese i believe five pieces of copper is like easily 300 gold and 300 gold is like straight up a purple item you know what i mean so it's actually a big upgrade so pretty much money wise money wise getting copper and getting the um you know cobalt if you come across it's going to be significantly more profitable than no matter what piece you're gonna find almost like guaranteed you know i feel like i kill mobs pretty freaking fast we also have cobalt here which is nice but i'm not sure if i want to save up space for cobalt we have 30 seconds there is a static here static to allow but instead, I'd rather make sure that I get out. Here we go. Alright. Not a bad game either. We got a solid kill, we got a lot of massive upgrades. And we got a stupid amount of cheese. Oh no, this poor fella. This poor fella that didn't know, brother. He didn't know he collected so much. No, brother. He found purple items. Wow. Wow, brother. That is so sad, my homie. He served them the big bing bong with side of smiggitish meep bop. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we actually end up getting out of this raid. Let's sell everything. We want to save that. We'll sell more. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have a little replacement kit ready, just in case we got four pieces. I didn't take fucking rapier. Ah, oh, shit, my bad. Okay, couple of rings. And um, basically, yeah, we got to level 7, and um, now we could actually put another perk. Very useful, especially if you're gonna use the dagger, but if you're not gonna use the dagger mastery, use the poison, so it's all up to you. If you have dagger, use dagger with the poison weapon. And with a dagger master. If you don't have it, well, use what you have. The poison weapon is gonna affect any weapon that you have, and just so is Jokestra. Pretty much with this, we're gonna conclude today's video. We were doing a little zero to hero, and I feel like we kinda accomplished the task. This is what we ended up getting. Pretty much every single piece comes real handy here. Probably I might replicate replace this one with this because I feel like this is slightly better. Um, we have a bunch of additional, the cape could get better, but the amount of gold we got and the amount of resources we got, if we sell, if we sell all of this, we'd get a full straight up kit. Uh, Frost amulet on market is extremely cheap, so just aim for more damage, and pretty much just that would give you a decent amount of attributes. The rest is pretty much you can see right here on your screen. Pretty decent short sword, very decent one in fact, 27 plus 1 plus damage bonus gonna both impact your damage of your weapons you're gonna hold 
as well as it's gonna impact your poison weapon. I feel like we completed our zero to hero for today's video. It's demo. I hope you enjoyed this um, little episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.